Welcome to my photo digitizing tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a JPEG, a PNG, or any image file and convert it into a digitized embroidery file for free and very easily. I believe the formats that we will be able to convert this JPEG into are PES for Brother Machines, JEF, DST, HUS, and VIP, another popular one. Just so that we're all on the same page, I know there are a number of programs that can do this, and I've researched a bunch of them, BuzzTools, Embird, Wilcom. I wasn't able to figure these out, and I know Wilcom, I had to pay for it. So that isn't, uh, isn't a free option. So the program that we're going to use is called SoArt. Now, if you want to just skip the whole tutorial, I'll provide the download link to download this program, and you can download the program and fool around with it yourself. I think it's a great program. They offer a 30-day demo, and if you are trying to digitize file just one time, this is perfect. If this is something that you do for your business, I highly recommend buying this program because it works great. So we're going to continue with the demo, and I'm going to open it up and drag and drop my old Apple logo that I'm using for this tutorial. I'm using this logo because it's a six-color logo. So it's got a high color number count, and uh, it's not too complicated, but it's a JPEG, and the quality is not that good. So just a quick note here, your end results will definitely depend on the quality of photo or image that you're using to begin with. So I highly recommend using a PNG or any image that's just high def. But I'm, I'm using a, a low def JPEG to show you that this program will work for these types of files. So. I actually have this black R right here, and I don't want that in my final product. I think that's actually just going to confuse the program a little bit and add colors and stitches and, and thread counts. So I'm just going to open it with Photoshop and just quickly remove that R. Save as. Cool. And so now here's my new logo without the R and I'll just drag and drop into the program okay now the R is gone the easiest way to do it is to use this wand tool the image wizard I highly recommend doing it this way so let's click on the image wizard and that's gonna kick us into the wizard so we're going to go through about four steps and the first step is reducing the number of colors so I can just go down the list and here's my preview, 60 colors, 25 colors, 15 colors. Oh, but you see that it combines these two oranges. And even seven colors really combines and distorts the colors. So this isn't what I want. That's not what I want. This is the closest thing to the original image. So I'll select 31, click Next. Now I'm going to reduce the number of colors even more by merging similar colors. So I'll go down the list once again. I want to pick the highest value. So as I go down, you can see that my image is simplifying and I'm able to go all the way down to 6.4. So I'll click on next. Okay, now I'm going to reduce the speckles. And once again, I'm going to go down the list. 12%, 25%, 50%, 100%. Looks like I can go all the way down. Next. And now I'm just going to merge any small percentage colors. Once again, I want to pick the largest value, so I'll scroll all the way down. I'll try each one. This is a trial and error. Your results might be a little bit different than mine. So here I go. Oh, and 12% is too much. So I'll have to back it up to four, and I still have all my colors. And you can see I'm losing a little quality around the edges, but that's okay for right now. I'll click on Finish. And so now that we've completed the wizard, the wizard simplified our image into a certain number of colors. Now when we click on this Stitch Image button, we leave all of these settings the same. And I actually keep this box checked. Auto Sew Image, click on this button, Sew All Colors, and that's it. It sews all of our colors, it gives us all of our stitches. As you can see here, I only have 
eight colors, which is great. So I'm going to assume that most of you don't want this white background. You just want the actual logo. So we can easily remove the white background by clicking on this white delete color. And that will delete the white background. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Now we save it, file, save as. And I'm going to save it to my desktop as a BMP. And now I'm going to save the embroidery file. And I'm going to save it as a PES. But you can see in the drop down, save as type, there are a number of different formats that you can save it to. I'll select PES. I'm going to keep all of these settings the same. Save. And that's it. I think the results are acceptable. Um, here are my two files. So I've been able to take this um, old Apple logo, JPEG file, pretty small file, low quality, and I've been able to convert that into a digitized embroidery file, PES format, which should get the job done and those embroidery programs should be able to read it and print this file. Please leave a comment, let me know if it worked or if it didn't work or you know if you ran into any problems so that's it that wraps up this tutorial on how to digitize a file and create an embroidery file thanks for watching